on Salvation Army. I've done my research. I'm cool with it. If you're not, that's fine. I love thrifting and Wednesdays happen to be half off Wednesdays. So this is why I'm here. <laughs> um, so yeah, Wednesdays, sorry, my lips are like so chapped. I'm like, uh, there's pieces of skin coming off into my mouth. Anyway, um, yeah, Wednesdays are half off clothing and shoes, belts, linens, jewelry, all of that stuff. Basically everything but furniture and books and um, electronics, like that area, and like the little knickknacks. Um, so the way my store is laid out, it's everything on the right side of the store is dibs for 50% off. And everything on the left side is normal price unless you find a special sticker that gets you half or 30% off or whatever. Um, and they list those at the front of the store. If you've never been to Salvation Army, that's the typical thing to do when you get in. Look at the board, see what colors are discounted that day. Um, sometimes it'll say like stickers that are, or blue labels are half off, yellow labels are 30% off. 30 Etc. So you just look at the little price labels on the items and it'll be white or blue or yellow or pink or green or whatever other colors they have. Um, so yeah, that's typically how you would shop at a Salvation Army thrift store. I don't know if other thrift stores are similar. This is the one I have the most experience with. Sorry. I'm holding this with my hands on my steering wheel, so <laughs> uh, bear with me. Um, but yeah, Wednesdays, half off clothes, linens, all of that good stuff. Um, so that's why I'm here. So I'm going to go inside. I'm going to try and film a little bit inside. I probably won't talk because uh, it's not that they that I think that they don't allow filming. It's just that I'm really awkward, uh, especially in social situations. So usually when I'm at Salvation Army, I've got my headphones in and I'm just doing my own thing by my own self. Uh, ignore my ridiculous hair. I just kind of clipped this back because I don't like dealing with hair in my face while I'm shopping. So yeah, um, I'll try to get some, some clips of like me shopping and maybe me trying things on, but we'll see. Uh, it depends on what I find. And I will definitely check back with you guys to let you know what I found and how much I spent. Um, and I'll try to show things well. Hopefully I'll get out of here before the sun starts going down so I'll have enough light to show you what I get. If I get anything at all. That's the fun thing about thrifting. So hopefully I'll find some good stuff. I usually do. I usually get can get a, quite a few pretty cool things. So I have a couple of things in mind that I want to try and find. Um, especially a couple of things I want to try altering. So I'm going to look for things that, that can be altered easily. We'll see. Uh, it's a little difficult to set up my sewing machine in our tiny ass apartment, but we will see. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to head inside and stop looking like a crazy lady talking to herself in her car in the heat with it running with the AC on because it's so freaking hot. <sighs> Welcome to Texas. Alright, I will see you guys uh, in a bit.
Rachel. I only spent some little 15 bucks. Um, so that's not too bad. I've done way worse. My limit for myself was 30. Um, so I think I did okay. Um, let me show you guys what I got. Let me see if I can wedge my phone in my steering wheel without honking the horn. Mmm, that chin. Oh, that's a good look. Alright, first things first is this giant basket. You can't really see it because it's so big. Um, but it's got a lid. So it's kind of like a, like a picnic basket. Um, these things turn and open and da -da -da -da. it's not real wicker, it's like plastic. Um, it was $4.99. It was not one of the stickers that were marked down, but the reason I got it, you might be wondering like, why did you get this weird giant suitcase picnic basket looking thing, um, is because I keep my crochet stuff in a picnic basket at home and that has broken. Uh, I also got it here, um, but that's not why it broke. It broke because I kept using it as a footrest. It was like a, a big picnic basket with like the little flappy, like this opening on the top. Um, anyway, there's like people <laughs> right next to me, so they're like, what the hell should I win? Anyway, um, so I kept my like crochet stuff in there. Um, I, I keep it still even with the lid broken. It's like broken beyond repair. I don't know how to repair it. Um, and it's wood and wicker and it's old and it kind of has like a weird smell and like the side where it's wicker like got kicked in a little bit. So it's in pretty bad shape. I'm probably going to toss it um, and replace it with that basket. So that'll do pretty well. Uh, it's a little smaller than the basket I have currently, but the basket I have currently isn't full either. And it shouldn't be full because I don't need that much spare yarn. So um, it's kind of where I keep my yarn and like my um, like in progress projects and stuff. And I like to have something that has a lid so that um, it doesn't get like dog hair and dust and shit all over it. So anyway, on to the other purchases. Um, they're all in like separate bags for some reason. This is a an earring holder. It spins. Oh, it's off the thing. Oh, there. It spins. And it holds earrings in it. And I have a shitload of earrings. And I have like a makeshift earring holder at home. But it doesn't uh, it doesn't do the job very well. This I think I'll actually use instead of just flinging my earrings all over the fucking house and losing them, um, I think I'll actually use this. This is really fun to spin. Um, but I think I'll actually use this, and uh, so that's why I got it. And it was $2.99. I don't know if you can see that. Um, this is also, it was green and white that were um, half off in addition to the half off clothes, linen, shoes, all that good stuff. Um, so this was full price, $2.99, but it's like $2.99, yeah, I can handle $2.99 for an earring holder. Like this thing at like Claire's would probably be like 20 bucks easily. So uh, there's that. I'm showing you like the non-clothes stuff. I really didn't get that many clothes. I tried on a lot and I filmed, you know, my basket and everything. You guys will try at this point. If I edit the video correctly, you will have seen it. Um, I, I had a lot to try on and I really didn't end up getting very much. Nothing really fit right, um, or it wasn't things that I would see. It's so weird. Oh, excuse me. Alright, speaking of things I don't know if I see myself wearing, <laughs> I got these weird earrings. I don't know. They're, they're cool. They're like these big giant moons with little faces and like a little star. But then they have like these dials on the back and I don't know what those are for. I don't know if like they light up. Let's see. It like unscrews. 
has a little battery. Um, okay. I really don't know what's up with these. Let me see if I can take them off this little paper. Glimmers. Well, I definitely don't want to have to replace the battery on some earrings, so I don't know if I'll actually use that or not. Um, I'm going to replace this yellow nasty back, that's for sure. That's one really good, th the really important thing that you need to do when you buy earrings um, secondhand is replace the backs and sterilize them with alcohol because yours are gross, dude. Like, they're really gross. They do some gross things. I don't know. Um, I thought they were cool because they're like little moons and I love moon stuff, but uh, I'm really not sure if I'll actually wear them. I don't know. These were $2.99 as well, full price. Same price as the earring holder, so I don't know. Oh, by the way, I have moved my car, uh, in case you're wondering. It's because the light, the sun's over here and it's setting, and I'm not even, look, I'll, I'll just show you. I'm not even in the sunlight. There's like all this grass and stuff. Hey, it's me in the mirror. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm actually showing. Yeah, so uh, if it gets dark, I'm really sorry. Um, I'm trying to, to hurry. Kind of, not really. Um, I'm sorry I keep looking at myself. I'm obviously using the front facing camera and it's like, hello. And then I have to look at the Sorry. Oh, uh, Okay, so, oh, here's my receipt. Um, I actually spent total $15.63 on one, two, three, four, five items. Not bad. Um, not my best. I did really fucking well last time, um, but I also didn't get that many clothes this fall of the way. Okay, so I got this dress. Let's see if we can... It's like a tank on the top, and then it's got standard waist. And it flares out from the waist. And it, uh, I, I tried this on. I don't, I think I got video of it. So I'll insert a clip of that here. I did try this on. It's got a zipper in the back, which I couldn't show in the dressing room I was in. I was in like the awkward little standalone dressing room in the middle of the floor that nobody was using because I think they didn't realize like you could because it had like mountains of clothes in there that needed to be put away. But I'm not waiting for a dressing room. Sorry. Um, so I used that. This was $5.99, but because well, it would have been half off anyway because it's a green label, but because it was Wacky Wednesday, um, it was 50% off, so I only spent three bucks on this. Um, it's cute. It's flattering. I'll obviously have to wear a cardigan with it to wear to work, and probably the last few times today. I'm not a fan of my arms, but uh, yeah. Okay, so this was a huge deal. This was marked um, as a t-shirt price. I'll show you what it actually is in a second. It was marked as a t-shirt price, which is insane because it's not a t-shirt. It's a dress. Sorry, I'm turning down my ear. I'm fucking cold. Um, so it's from Rue 21. Oh, that other dress, by the way, was from Old Navy. Yeah, Old Navy. So this is from Rue 21, which is one of my favorite stores. I know, I'm such trash. 
It's been my favorite, one of my favorite stores since high school when they opened the outlet mall near my house and that was the cool place to go, especially when we skipped school. We went to Route 21 and we went to Papaya and we went to um, the Converse store and we went and looked at those giant cookie cakes and Starbucks and <sighs> all of that. Anyway, Route 21, it's floral, it's a dress, it's also got a waistband. And it's a dress, and it's got, um, it's, uh, I guess they're technically three-quarter length sleeves, they, they end right about here. Um, so they end right above my elbows. Um, it's super, super cute, super comfy, super stretchy, very soft t-shirt material, but it was marked at a t-shirt price, so really, I only paid 50 cents for this, and I fucking love it. I can see me wearing this with leggings, without leggings. Um, I will definitely be wearing this this fall with probably some velvet leggings, some boots, maybe a cardigan. I I love this. I'm I love grandma floral prints like no other. It's gorgeous. I love it so much. That's my favorite find of today. Favorite. Um, and here's a shirt. I was kind of on the fence about it. Um, well, yeah. Um, I was kind of off on the fence about it. Um, it's nice, but it's got all these ruffles on the titties. And I don't really need extra volume in that area, so... Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, this brand is called Fever. Um, this was $2.99, but since it was half off... It was a dollar fifty. Um, it's a tank top, like sleeveless, so I'll be wearing it with a cardigan. I think this will look good layered. That's why I got it. Most of the things I was on the fence about, I just didn't get because what's the point in wasting money on it? I don't have space to store all that shit. Um, so most of the things I was kind of, like, eh, I don't know about, which you've seen if you I inserted my try on clips already. So. Um, yeah, I was on the fence about it, but I really think that it'll look good with a cardigan layered over top, like a v-neck cardigan, um, or just open. I think it'll look cute. We'll see. If not, then I'll be donating it right back, and the circle of life will continue. So, um, that's all I got today. That's it. I always look for shirts for David when I'm here, um, because he is really hard to fit. He needs a tall shirt, because he has a really long torso. Uh, he's a lot taller than me. He's 6'2". 6'2"? 6'2". I'm 5'7". Um, he's a lot taller than me, but we actually, our legs are almost the same length. Like, it's weird, but his torso is so long that he needs a tall length shirt. And so I always try to find those when I'm here. The only ones I found um, today were like this ugly, like, maroon and black and white stripe. And it just, um was not very attractive. Plus, he would never wear maroon. That's an Aggie color. I I wear maroon because I like it um, and it's pretty, but I wouldn't, I would never buy it for him. He would never wear it. So, anyway, that's that. Uh, that was my thrift haul. First one in a long time. Um, I'm looking way different than if you, if you don't watch any of my other videos and you only watch my thrifting videos, I look way different than uh, you probably last saw me. Different car. It's been like three years since my last one, but oh well. Uh, my hair's probably about the same length, but I do need to get these ends chopped off. This is my natural hair, which I already showed you guys in my last makeup video. And it's looking so silver. I got two compliments on it today. Um, not while it was like this, not while I was in here, um, but at work when I looked a lot cuter before my lip stain wore off um but yeah I love, love the way my hair is looking okay so I'm rambling and I'm losing sunlight so I'm gonna get going I have to go to the grocery store still um and I have to pick up things for lunch for the rest of the week and some dinner and my feet are killing me but we're gonna make it we're going to power through and I'm going to try and get this edited and uploaded tonight.
but I might not be able to because it is already 7.30. So hopefully this week this will be updated. Uh, obviously today is Wednesday, so if you're not seeing this on Wednesday, I'm very sorry. I'm still working on editing. I did finally get um, Adobe Premiere Pro and I'm still learning how to use it. I'm used to my Windows Movie Maker, which is like click, drag, and you're done. And that's all you do. But Premiere Pro, it's like, oh my gosh, I can do so much. I can cut out just the sound. I can cut out just the video. I can smoosh this in here. And oh my god, it's just so cool. And I love how like it's like the tools are like referencing the old school film tools, like how you use a razor to cut it and um it's just it's just neat. It's just neat. I love it. Uh so God, I'm rambling so much. I'm I'm hungry and I'm tired, so sorry, y'all. Um, but hopefully I will get this uploaded this week before the weekend. I know I still need to film my Q&A video. Um, if you follow me on Tumblr and Instagram, you know I've been asking for questions for that. The reason I haven't done it yet is, one, I've only had two questions so far. Two people submit questions. They each submitted, like, like two or three each, but, like, come on guys like there's got to be something you want me to answer anything it doesn't have to be about me it could be about goth it could be about thrifting it could be about makeup like i don't know um so if you have any questions comment below or sub submit them to me on tumblr and instagram that's that's totally fine as well um the other reason i have not filmed it yet is because every t every day that i think that i'm going to be able to when david's gonna be out of the house um, doing something like with his brother or with his dad or with his friend or whatever um, it just doesn't happen and I'm and I'm home so like the last time that I would have been able to was actually when I decided to finish editing my last makeup tutorial video with the the red and gold halo eye um, that's when I was doing that I just I sat down and I was like I just need to edit this and get this through because I need to get it put up so that's why it got postponed sorry you guys um I really want to film a Q&A Q &A video for you guys I don't want it to just be makeup only on this channel it's just it general Kelly channel <laughs> uh anyway so I will see you guys later I really need to get to the store Dave's probably wondering where the hell I am um, and he's gonna laugh when I tell him I film videos on my phone for this channel, but oh well. This is my first, like, vloggy type of thrifting video. I really try to get a lot of clips for you guys, so I hope that you like that. If you like this kind of video, if you want to see this again, I, I am thrifting more often these days. So if you want to come thrifting along with me again in, 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 in video, not in person. <laughs> Sorry, stranger danger. Um, but if you want to see this kind of video again in the future, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more. I again, I don't only upload thrifting videos. I also upload makeup tutorials, um, makeup product reviews, and thrifting hauls and home tours and videos of my dogs and you know just whatever uh I'll get some sort of organization to this channel eventually um fuck okay for real though I'm gonna go I need to go to the grocery store I need to get some food because I'm fucking hungry and tired and it's now 7 32 and I've been recording this little recap for almost 20 minutes now so I hope you ha guys have a great week great day um I hope you liked my thrifting haul, which was kind of measly, but hopefully it got you in the mood to go try and see these for some